Good morning guys to this beautiful island, Copangana Thailand. Again, a cool video today. Yes, talking about the Bitcoin price, about the 10,500 resistance, but also talking about how the support is growing, guys. We are going to talk about 4,000 Chinese banks being frozen and why this could, should not be happening to you guys. We are going to talk about the Ethereum price as well and also about the Litecoin price, guys. Yes, we are going to compare the bearish and the bullish scenarios so make sure to watch this video it will be a short one but i will explain in the video why but the information you will see in this video is going to be really cool guys so make sure you don't miss out watch it to the fullest and enjoy it to the fullest guys guys from the beautiful island of Copacabana, my home office at the moment in lockdown here in Thailand. Let's take a jump into my office. Whoop! And today again a short video guys because yesterday's video was watched a lot of times so probably most people prefer this. The Bitcoin price guys yes we again surpassed 10k but again fell back to 9,800 ish. 10,000, 10,500 is a huge level of resistance. We can see it in all the charts. We have been fighting this resistance for multiple times in the last year. So it's a difficult one to break, but it slowly is getting more easy and easy. We can see this in the amount of addresses and the amount of Bitcoins that are creating this um, support and resistance lines. If we look at these addresses, we can see that the support is around 9,650 in average. Um, how can we see this? We can see this because over 2.2 million Bitcoin addresses bought in total 1.5 million Bitcoins around this level. So this is a huge level of support and um, very difficult to break downwards from because there are so many people that bought at that level they are not going to sell that easy. If we look at the resistance guys, the resistance around 10k, it's big, it's still like 833 addresses that own about um, 560,000 bitcoins, but as you can see the support is growing. We have more than 2 million addresses owning 1.5 million bitcoins. So these want to have the price up and we are going to push this price up. This is what I referred to in the last couple of weeks of let's get down and, and gather these friends to push the price slowly up. This is the shift we can now see in these Bitcoin addresses. More and more people are gathering at its support line. So we have now 2.2 million addresses owning 1.5 million Bitcoin in average price 9,640. They all want to push the price up and less and less people are keeping us from just pushing this price up because we can see that only 833,000 addresses own about 600,000 bitcoins so yes the resistance is getting weaker yes the support is getting stronger guys i'm going to walk to the shadow the sun is burning and it's too hot to walk on the beach give me a second yes that's better we have some shadow because it's really hot in the sun at the moment guys let's first start guys with um Yes, of course, combing my hair, but also with the bearish outlook because the bears still think we could push Bitcoin down to 6k levels. And why do they think this? There are a few reasons why they think this. I'm going to share a few of them. As you know, I always like to look at the bears, but also at the bull scenarios because all of these scenarios can play out and you need to be prepared for all of these scenarios. If we look at this one week chart, we can see this head and shoulders forming you can see the pattern of a head and shoulders because you see this shoulder and then you get one down is a head and then you get one again is a shoulder you can see it and um, i think the uh, there are some circles below the regions that make it and shoulders you can also have the head and shoulders the other way around you know and it will be going up down up down up so these patterns are called head and shoulder patterns this pattern we are seeing now the head and shoulder pattern is forming against this downwards trend line we have seen for many months you can see the line coming down so if this right shoulder would touch the trend line again and go downwards we could take it all the way down down to 6000 so this is one of the patterns that the bears used to show that we are going to 6k which could be an option. Second indicator the bears are referring to at the moment is that we can see this long-legged doji. 
A long leg doji is a doji with a very small body, long legs. Mostly these long legged dojis um, are a sign that there will be a reversal in the market. As you can see on this chart, we saw these long leg dojis many times before and every time we saw them there was a reversal into the market. And yes, the upper hand of this reversal the last couple of months was downwards. So check the chart, you can see the points on the chart, there's a small square around this long leg doji and then you can see what happened after. Even the crash this year in March, you know, the awful crash to around 4k region. Yes, just before that crash we saw this long leg doji. So if you google uh, a long leg doji um, or you go to Investopedia, you can see that a long leg doji indeed is mostly a sign of a trend reversal. So let's see if this indicator will be right in the next couple of days. And if we want to look a little bit more forward, then we can even see this 20 MA line crossing downwards of the 50 MA line, which would be a bearish cross. Um, we don't know yet. If you look at the charts, you can see that this is slowly trying to form. But if the price will go up slowly now, then this formation will be like undone and then we cannot see this bearish cross. So it's just to show you guys how you can analyze the charts. You can see it happened also like a few months ago, you saw the yellow circle. At that point, the MAs crossed each other bearish and we saw a huge dip. We could see this bearish crossover of the 20 over the 50 MA in the near future, which could lead to a price dip as well, guys. Only thing that is different this time, if you look closely to the chart, is you can see that the RSI is not going downwards. The RSI is like almost the same like the Bitcoin price, is going sideways. And if the RSI on this chart would be able um, to break this pink circle, this half moon circle, the, the top of line, if the RSI would be able to, tr to break this line instead of going down, then this whole indicator won't be valid and we won't see this bearish crossover, in my opinion, guys. Let's take it to the bulls, guys, because I prefer the bullish outlook, of course. Um, let's see this chart. What is this chart telling us? If we see this chart, we can see, guys, that we had um, these rallies, pullbacks and then we all thought Bitcoin was dead and then we had another downwards trend line forming and every time we broke that second downward trend line Bitcoin seemed to go in this immense rally so let's analyze the chart and let's see if this is happening again so as you can see in the chart you know in the 2016-17 rally and the 2019 rally the same happened we had this run-up from the run-up we had a huge pullback everybody thought bitcoin is going to die and then from this uh, top to the pullback you could see this trend line forming and then when that trend line is broken we saw the real rally of bitcoin and this is the same you can see in the 2017 rally and this is the same what is forming now on the charts if we look closely at the charts we can see this the small run up we can see the pullback we can see this trend line and we can see that we just crossed this trend line again we broke this downwards trend line again like we did in the last two times as you can see on the chart and the last two times we did this on the charts we had a huge run-up so this is an indicator that we could do the same again we just broke this trend line so let's see the next couple of days weeks months if we would be able um, to create this beautiful run-up again that we saw in the last two times. At the same time, guys, we can see that the bulls are accumulating Bitcoin again because we can see in the last five days, 43 new Bitcoin addresses are created with more than 100 Bitcoins. So we can see in the chart that the amount of wallets with more than 100 Bitcoins has been increasing tremendously in the last five days. Why would this be? Would this be that, the good, that these whales are going to crash the market? Or would this be that these whales are now also going to help us to break this 10,500 resistance to bring us to this next beautiful bull run? It's always the same question. You never know what side of the game these whales are playing. You never know what the whales might do. Sometimes even the whales just 
pop up out of the water and behind me while I'm filming. I don't see it then and they just jump out of the sea. <laughs> you can't predict what whales do. They can crash the market and they can create the market into this beautiful bull run. Let's see what this time these whales want to do with us. We have another bullish chart. If you look at this volume trend that we are seeing now at the chart, we saw the same volume trend the last time when we had the 14k rally in the bottom of the chart you can see the volume and you see the small curve we created with this run up in the volume we can see now that the volume is going down 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 so maybe we will create a curve again with this run up like we did the, the last rally i don't know but it's beautiful to see that also the volume could be coming into line of uh, creating a new bull run so also for me yes a bullish indicator but for many it would be ah, that's a little bit far-fetched Didi. you know whatever i'm just sharing my opinion about the charts always do your own research because you can't trust just everybody that is walking on the beach and while enjoying his lockdown life in thailand i am also just a guy analyzing the markets i don't have a glass ball i do have some experience but you know it is also a market that is very volatile and moves in very unexpected ways so let's see what we are going to see in the next couple of weeks I just see it as an exciting time where I or see the beautiful bull run and I am happy because my bitcoins became more valuable or I see this huge dip when I'm happy because then I can still buy a few more bitcoins and a cheaper price. Always happy, always the glass half full, never the glass half empty. Chinese banks that froze their assets of their customers. Why did they freeze the assets of their customers? Because these bank accounts were used to buy and sell cryptocurrency. Okay, so that is exactly what is wrong with the people nowadays. They still trust the banks. Now, again, an example that the banks you hold your money on can just freeze your account for using the money to spend on something which is completely legal, like Bitcoin. Why would they freeze your account if you just buy and sell Bitcoin. This is something very legit nowadays. Man, all the big exchanges, all the big stock markets, everybody is talking about it. Last week in Germany, it was officially noted to the stock market as well. So why would the Chinese banks close this? Yes, they of course come with this excuse of money laundering. I don't know, I don't care. I just hate the fact that banks have the power to freeze your money. This is the only thing I'm reading. The rest I don't even read anymore. Banks have the power to freeze your money. That is why I support Bitcoin. Nobody can freeze my Bitcoin wallet. Referring to Bob Marley, you know the song where he sings, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Nobody but ourselves can free our mind. We could change this one, this saying into, emancipate yourselves from financial slavery nobody but ourselves can freeze our bitcoin wallet so thanks bob for being an inspiration for this new quote i just invented yes nobody can freeze your bitcoin wallet and that is exactly the huge difference between bitcoin and your bank please be aware banks can freeze your account some funny news because there was a guy he wanted to send some ethereum i think it was 130 us dollar worth of ethereum something around 0.5 ethereum he wanted to send it and he did send it but he did send it with a fee of 2.6 million dollar why would somebody that has this shitload of ethereum more than ten thousands of them make this mistake i can't believe that somebody that sends this huge amount of money is going to switch the fields using the fee amount to send because you know this is just not happening in the normal world this is happening with small transactions yeah you can make this mistake with 100 dollar transaction but if you are about to send 2.6 million us dollar in ethereum guys believe me you are not going to make this mistake you're going to check over and over and over again if everything you filled is correct if the addresses you filled is correct if even the fee amount all that stuff is correct i just really don't believe this was an accident what else could be behind it? I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of a beautiful creative way of money laundering. Um, you never know, guys. I think it was mined by the Spark Pool, which is an uh, Ethereum mining pool. Maybe some guy inside of this pool started to manually um, disrupt the block and add this transaction into this block 
in some kind of way so that this mining pool would be making 2.6 million dollar in fees you never know i don't know the pool i don't know if they allege it or whatever guys i'm not going to even research it it's just a very strange story in my opinion guys yes of course it could be a mistake but it also could be a beautiful way a very creative way which i would applaud the people for if they did it in this creative way because you also you always need to think aside of the box and if they achieved this beautiful way of making some profit by thinking outside of the box i just respect them but then again it also shows the weakness of this ethereum blockchain because then it would be possible to rig the game and, and i don't think this is the goal i don't think vitalik would like these things to happen on their on his blockchain so let's see how this story will continue in the next couple of days because i think some companies are investigating it everybody of course wants to know what exactly happened to this 2.6 million us dollar in fees they asked me to talk about the litecoin prices price as well and of course i always do what my followers ask of me yes i like litecoin i've been to the litecoin foundation summit in uh, vegas last year i met the whole community over there i have never seen so many warm-hearted people in one big room not only warm-hearted they are also really hardcore fighters for mass adoption of litecoin they strive to you know include litecoin all over the world in any possible way and they are even working together with the many pacquio foundation together with verge they are even working together with a lot of top professional league clubs in the united states they are pushing it very hard guys they are pushing adoption very hard they have a lot of community members that are just daily making content by visiting all kinds of beautiful stores in the stage except asking them to accept litecoins in very beautiful ways it's a it's a very cool uh, community over there and um, I, I even had the honor to talk to with charlie for a few minutes in, in vegas it's just a normal guy and i like normal people i like when normal people even when they get filthy rich stay just normal and this is what i like about the litecoin community they are not arrogant yes they are prepared to fight because you, you see all the you know muscled guys in the litecoin group for me it's okay man they are just normal guys that want to have fun in this uh, and entertainment in this space i just found this beautiful shell you can see i will bring it home as an ashtray and that's why i like the litecoin community if it comes to the litecoin price guys what do you think we saw an all-time high in litecoin around like 400 us dollar we are now at 50 dollar below 50 dollar that's one seven till one eighth of the all-time high bitcoin at the moment is only 50 percent below the all-time high so if litecoin was 80 percent below the all-time high what do you think i think that these prices will be increasing in the near future i think litecoin at 45 till 50 us dollar is a cheap buy litecoin already showed its power by going to what was it 80 dollar in the last mini run so that's a uh, almost doubling your investment from now if just litecoin makes a small bull run let's see what my litecoin will do during the big bull run so yes guys i like litecoin i like ethereum i like bitcoin I like many other cryptocurrencies bitcoin litecoin ethereum have been around for a long time and they have showed us their power many times so why wouldn't they show the power again uh, during the next bull run because they have huge communities that believe in them and the price is always about market psychology and the more community members you have the less influence i think this market psychology will have because there are many more different kinds of people that can carry the price and that can keep the price from falling down drastically in like a crash or something like this so yes i think litecoin would be a good investment as well guys that is the end of the video guys i hope you enjoy the video like i said i keep it short because i'm going to do a beautiful family day today of which we will make an amazing video of course as well if you liked today's videos give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel hit this bell button she will be notified on every new video and i end my videos always the same you need to zoom out in crypto you need to zoom in in life you need to enjoy every single minute of the day without worrying every single minute of the day about the crypto charts because if you enjoy every single minute of the day this is exactly what makes life worth living enjoy your day and see you tomorrow again bye Oh,